Like my new headgear, this is Microsoft HoloLens 2. It is lighter, it is smarter, it is connected to the cloud. It is intelligent locally, it's intelligent out there. It's got fi carbon fiber on the front. It can now track my gaze. I don't know if you remember the original HoloLens, which is a really incredible mixed reality headset that Microsoft introduced a few years ago. They have a development kit. They kind of pushed it right into the enterprise, but people weren't entirely sure what it was going to be and if it was ever going to be a gaming system. HoloLens 2, we really understand. This is about getting work done and it's got some incredible tools for it. So what are the big changes here? See, it's, it's completely different the way they've built it here. There used to be a second ring there. Now it's balanced differently. They've got the, a lot of the technology and battery in the back and some technology in the front. What this creates is a balance on your head. All I had to do is put it, to put it on is put it on my head, control this little ring, and I was ready to go. And I did a nine point eye calibration. And this meant that it was actually going to track where my pupils are going. I look at these dots, look at that dot. I didn't have to turn my head. And now I can log in with Windows Hello. It's lighter, it's a lot more comfortable. I can do this when I'm not working or push it down. It used to measure which way I was looking like this. Now it measures my actual gaze, where my eyeballs are going. So I just look around and control things. It's like controlling stuff with your mind. Other big change is my hands. I can control things with my 10 digits. I don't have to use a remote control. In fact, it doesn't ship with a remote control, though it still works with Bluetooth devices. I'm able to grab buildings. I'm able to stretch them. I'm able to talk and have it listen to me. It had listening before, but it's got five microphones now, including a couple that'll write down here. So it's really good at me saying commands. I was popping stuff before. Here's something really important that Microsoft changed between HoloLens 1 and HoloLens 2. My field of view is bigger, much bigger. It's, it's a 3-2 aspect ratio as opposed to like 16-9. It's taller. It's a little wider, significantly taller, but you don't feel like you're staring at a small TV set in the distance. Microsoft made a big push with connecting the HoloLens 2 to the Azure Cloud, uh, which means that it's got the enterprise level intelligence out there up in the cloud when it needs to, but also has local AI based intelligence for sort of real time response. Uh, this is going to be a device that you can use out in the workplace to train people. This is an enterprise tool, so it's $3,500 or $125 a month bundled with remote assist. So, you know, it's not, it's not a toy. It's, it's a tool for the modern workforce. Uh, and they're also even selling customized versions. They're about to sell them where they're built into hard hats which is the only reason I ever wanted to work on sort of a construction site. If I could wear one of these things, it would definitely be the coolest thing ever. You just pop this on your head, put your hard hat on, look up and see that you can stand under that beam, but not that beam because HoloLens 2 is telling you what to do. Pull that in. He's so pretty. So the first HoloLens was built on an x86 CPU and it was 32-bit. This is built on a, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 850. It is 64-bit, but of course it still will run the 32-bit application. So very exciting. I wish I could put you inside of here so you could see it and experience it for yourself. But it is so cool and it is so much bigger.